everybody, so in today's video, I am gonna be doing my 2018 makeup favorites. I've got this big makeup bag full of makeup, of stuff that I've loved throughout the year, and a lot of people do this video, and they either do just makeup, makeup skincare, or makeup skincare fashion and random things. Usually in my monthly favorites videos, I will do sort of random stuff, a bit of everything, but for this video, I just wanted to include makeup because I didn't want it to be too long, and also, I think 2018 was like my year of like really getting into makeup a lot, so I thought I would just do a whole video on just makeup and I won't be doing any favourites videos on skincare or anything like that. All of my um, products that I'm showing today are things that I've been using throughout 2018 or I've discovered in that year. It's not going to be anything that I got for Christmas because anything that I've really loved at Christmas, which is probably everything, let's be real, um, in January, for my January favourites, that's when I will talk about that then. But for now, it's going to be the products from 2018. I did, however, get this makeup bag from my friend Steph for Christmas, uh, along with a few other things. So that is obviously in this video. This is what I'm keeping my new makeup in now because it's a really good size. So I'm going to go through the makeup in an orderly fashion. By the way, if you're wondering why the background's changed, it's because the background's changed. I wanted a fresh wall. This is it, it's very nice. It's literally just a wall in my house. I think if you're one of my friends and you've been to my house, you're probably wondering whereabouts this wall is. Well, keep guessing. It's in my house somewhere. So anyway, let's get into the video. I haven't included a primer in this video because I didn't really find like, a primer that I like really 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 liked throughout the whole year so I just didn't want to include it in this video if there's products that I just not like you know absolutely loving I'm not going to just include it for the sake of it but I do have a foundation and this foundation is the Maybelline Superstate 24 hour foundation mine is in the shade number 10 ivory so it is a little bit dark for me but this is what it looks like and obviously I've talked about this a lot on my channel. I've discussed it in many favourites videos. I think I probably included this in at least two, maybe three, which to me is quite a lot because, you know, really you shouldn't be including a product in more than one. But this is absolutely 100% the most full coverage foundation I've ever tried. It blends in so, so easily. I like to get a shade that's a little bit darker than me because I like to mix it with these lightning drops from Revolution. Um, Revolution Pro mixing drops. These are actually really, really good. And I just get the perfect combination. I've got it on my skin today. So as you can see, this is like the finish that it gives. But it is so full coverage and it lasts so long. And I would recommend it to anybody that has kind of spots or any anything that they want to cover up on their skin because this is really good and I cannot this is probably one of my ultimate favorite makeup pieces or makeup items from 2018 so please get this if you haven't tried it because it's so good and it does not look cakey oh I also wanted to mention another foundation that I also loved as well this one is the Kiko gold waves fluid foundation and I think this has got SPF 25 in it yeah SPF 25 so this is quite a good one for summer um, again this one is a little bit too dark for me I have it in the shade number two but again I can mix it with my revolution pro lightning drops this one is slightly lighter coverage than this one and when I say slightly I mean a lot lighter coverage this one is more I would say that foundation the Maybelline one is a full coverage foundation this one is a light coverage foundation so this one is really good for summer it has kind of like a moisturizing effect as well as giving a little bit of coverage so it's, it kind of acts like a two-in-one and I think that's because it's got like the sun cream element in it but I really like this for like a light base where my skin's looking really good you just pop a little bit of this on and it just kind of lightly covers conceal where you need it and you're done and it literally feels like you're not wearing anything so I think if you've got good skin then this will be a good foundation for you because it doesn't look cakey and it just kind of blends in and just looks like your skin rather than like you're wearing foundation because obviously with my Maybelline one you can tell I'm wearing foundation on my face but with this one you can't really tell and also this is great for travel because it's in a really small kind of packaging. I won't include a concealer. There's nothing that's been like amazing blew me away. So I thought you're thinking if I don't include a concealer and I don't have a primer then why the hell am I including a powder? Well that is because this powder is actually really good. I never came across a powder where I thought yeah that's amazing it's just a powder to me. Whereas this one from Poundland literally one whole pound from Makeup Gallery in Poundland, 
just said that but okay um this is in the shade translucent number one and it's matte it says it contains vitamin e but anyway this is amazing um this is what it looks like up close it's fairly sorry about my tanned hands they're all tanned it's fairly pigmented and it says it's translucent and i would agree with that up to a point but it does kind of give a little bit of coverage like when i powder my face with hello there hello is that a coffee no i've got you a tea a tea i can't eat that i like it do you want to get your coffee no i'm fine i'd, I'd probably rather have a tea actually Ooh. i was just experimenting okay thank, thank you, you. Oh, hello cool makeup thank you I did a Musical.ly video, my Musical.ly, for once in my life. Musical.ly? Got a tea on my TikTok, you know where they paid me £100 to make those videos. Oh. I posted another video. Oh, right. Cool. Doing this makeup. Sure. Okay, so now we've all got a cup of tea, which is probably needed, because I'm probably going to be rambling on for quite some time. Anyway, back to this powder. It gives a really, really, really kind of matte finish like i have oily skin and i've never come across a powder that keeps me as matte as this for as long as this does i used to have to powder my own face at school probably like twice a day whereas with this i don't have to powder at all and i just as soon as i pack it on it's just matte and i just absolutely love that and it kind of gives a little bit of coverage at the same time which i think is a bit i don't know different really for a powder to give coverage at the same time so yeah 100% like that only a pound and I've repurchased that three times so it really is a true true favorite then I was gonna you know include a bronzer that kind of thing but I didn't actually have a bronzer to include um I just thought you know it's not been that good but I do have the beauty big bang blush highlight and contour trio this was sent to me by the brand and with along with a few other products to do a video for them which is on my channel and this in particular is really really good and if there's anything off that website that i'd recommend getting it's this and i got this in the shade number six but it's basically a trio it's got a bronzer a blusher and a highlighter they're not you know the best they're not like amazing but they are really good for travel they're very pigmented so you just need to tap your brush in the tiniest little bit but if you're traveling and this is a three in one three products in one and it's just in this tiny little thing i think is amazing so if you're looking for like I don't know if you like to travel a lot like go abroad or I don't know just go to people's houses you know every weekend and this is great because you can literally just fit this just in your little makeup bag and that's three products whereas usually this would be one product so yeah I think that's a really really good one and then we've got some blusher and I've mentioned this blusher I would say about three or four favorites videos and it's quite annoying because i actually don't know what this brand is i picked it up off amazon i literally this was about three or four years ago a long time ago and i literally typed in blusher and this is the one that came up it was literally one pound fifty so cheap i always get you know cheap things because you know why not and this is in the shade 106 peach haze and it's just a nice little blusher it has kind of fallen out now so i can literally just take that out but it's not broken it's okay and this is like the perfect kind of peachy blush shade i absolutely love it i'll try and show it on my hand it's this one here it's just so skin colored that it just looks so nice i've got it on my face today and i think it's the kind of blusher that just blends so nicely in with bronzer and just kind of i don't know it just gives that kind of not fake blush like you know some blushes are so pink or so red you just can tell that somebody's got it on their face and they look a little bit like a clown with this i think it blends in so nicely and don't know what the brand is or anything like that because it doesn't say on it so that's quite weird but i you know i'm looking for i've been looking for four years for something that matches this shade absolutely love it and the pigmentation is really good so yeah that's what's um the blusher that's on my face today by the way all the products that i'm mentioning today um apart from this foundation i have actually put on my face oh and also apart from this because you know they're my favorites so highlighter favorite i have only ever used two powder highlighters one was from mua which i think was in last year's 2017 favorites well this year i bought a new one you know i'm not one of those people that excessively buys you know makeup products that i don't need and just buys like five or six different highlighters if i want something i'll buy it because i need it i decided to buy this so this was my highlighter purchase of 2018 and this was from w7 it's very very shimmery as you can tell it's like a gold shimmer the pigmentation is very high 
don't know if you'll be able to see like the shimmer on my arm because you know it depends how the light hits my hand no it's hard to show but it is incredibly shimmery it's what i've got on my cheek bones today highlighted i like to highlight my nose my cheeks so if you ever wonder what highlighter i'm wearing it's always this one it's like a nice goldy color the one that was in my favorites video last year was from mua and it was pinky toned i've come to realize that actually more goldeny tones suit my skin tone a lot better and look a little bit more natural obviously makeup doesn't look natural most of the time but that doesn't bother me I'm not too bothered about that, but I just think this suits my face a little bit more. So that was definitely a favourite. Oh, and then I haven't included um, any eyebrow products in this video or any mascaras or anything like that. You know, nothing's just screaming out at me. This video is purely for the best of the best. I didn't want to include two. In fact, I've just realised I haven't put any lipsticks in there. So this is where it gets interesting. For me with makeup now, my favourite things to purchase for makeup or to try new things is A, foundations, concealers, but also eyeshadow palettes. And I know people think, well, why do you need so many eyeshadow palettes? You, you know, if you've got one, you've got enough or you've got enough eyeshadow palettes. Every single eyeshadow palette is different. They have different shades. Um, they have different pigmentations, different formulas. The way that they look is different. You know, shimmers, mattes, metallics, that kind of thing. And each palette is almost like... When I use a palette, I would just use that palette. I will not mix between them. So for me, when I'm you know, dealing with an eyeshadow palette, I like to kind of create different looks from that palette on its own. It's hard to explain. It isn't hard to explain, but I'm just kind of rambling here. Um, but I like to get a new individual eyeshadow palette because I like to just use that one on its own for like a couple of weeks and then switch up to my other eyeshadow palette. And these three in particular for 2018 have really been used to absolute death and i'll show these two first the first one that i received was actually this one um my friend steph bought me this one did she buy me the other one or did i buy the other one i think i bought the other one yeah my friend steph bought me this one and this is the sofex revolution eyeshadow palette the first one that soph came out with she has a channel her channel's called soph does nails i'm sure you've seen some of her videos if not i'll link her channel down below you can have a quick look at it because she does loads of makeup videos but this is what the, the palette looks like and i just cannot stop using this i use pretty much every single shade so so much the only shades i don't tend to use are the goldeny colored ones um and also this black one but you don't really need to use black that much you can just kind of you know dab it a little bit but the reason why i tend to not go for the goldeny shades is because i like to go for eyeshadow that's quite bold that's quite colorful as you can see today i've gone for like a pinky kind of ready eyeshadow look so i like to experiment with more of the kind of colorful shades it's got so many good transition shades in here look there's this one this one this one this one as transition shades this is a great base shade and then it has this shade here which i believe was penguin and that's a really nice kind of absolute 100 percent base shade just as a complete clean canvas um a great inner corner highlighter here and that's also a really good inner corner highlighter and then there is this really nice shade here called petrol that's what it looks like and when you see it it looks blue but when you actually put it on your um eyelid it kind of looks kind of brownie can you see that like it looks brown but then when it hits the light it gives off this kind of blue tinge to it so yeah there's some really great shades in this palette and what i love about her palettes that she's brought out with revolution is the big mirror so again it's travel friendly within the fact that it's got every single transition shade you could want a array of different colors you can deepen the crease up with these browns and the black and you've got a mirror to be able to do that with so i think this is the perfect palette I then also purchased myself, if I remember rightly, the Soph X Revolution Extra Spice Palette. So she came out with this one as well a little bit later on. And this one is more kind of, you know, less about the transition shades. I think there's less shades in here anyway, but it's less about the transition shades and more about the different array of colours. This one here, Cookie Dough, is a great transition shade though, because as you can see, I've used it a lot. I literally use that so much. And then we have a couple of more popular shades. I like chocolate orange, which is this one. And I also like cheesecake, which is this one. I've used these in tutorials and things like that. And I will continue to use them 
throughout 2019 and probably more um but yeah it's got some interesting shades in here which makes you experiment a little bit more with color and you know if you're not the kind of person that's into experimenting with color and you just like to go for simple things just have a little go just have a little try because i literally just love picking up loads of different colors and you know literally just shoving them on my eyelids and just blending and blending and blending the more colorful the eyeshadow palette the more attracted to it i am because all i want to put on my eyelids is different colors like i would literally put bright blue on my eyelids i'll just put anything um so yeah this is a great palette and it's got some great shimmery shades as well so there we go i really like this one and again it's got a really nice mirror so Good for traveling purposes by the way sorry if i keep looking up at the screen it's because i'm looking to see if i'm in focus i'm not just looking at myself because i'm vain um then we have the naked heat palette so again i got this for christmas from aubrey and this here is probably one of the most it probably is one of the most luxury items i've ever received in terms of makeup because you can really feel the quality with this palette. You can actually feel it within the packaging. It feels very good quality. It looks nice. I love the look of this. And also the actual eyeshadows themselves are so pigmented, so creamy, and they blend so well. And I'm that kind of person that will use every single shade in an eyeshadow palette. I use this one as a base shade, which is called Chaser. And then these two here are kind of more neutral shades that you can kind of wear sort of every day, you know, if you don't want to put too much on. And then I do tend to stick to kind of the matte shades, like this one here, and then these two over here, um, rather than the shimmery shade, just because I prefer a matte look. I've got a shimmery look today, but you know, I do prefer a matte look. But the shimmery shades are where the pigmentation hits. The, the, the pigmentation is insane in this eyeshadow palette. Like, look at this last shade here, Ember. I've literally just kind of dabbed my finger in and then you literally just scrape down and that is just so incredibly pigmented and it's just such a shimmery shade. Like, look at that. That's just insane. Um, now I've got my finger with the gold on it. Look at that. That's just crazy gonna have to wash my hands after this because i'm just covered in makeup by the way this pink is from my eyeshadow this morning um but yeah overall a very good palette if you're into your kind of warm toned eyeshadows this is perfect literally just grab this it's absolutely perfect for a, a warm toned eyeshadow lover so those are my eyeshadow palette favorites of the year i wanted to include them and talk about them so i'm absolute mess right now look at my hands they look awful this is fake tan by the way i accidentally got it on my hands um but yeah we'll forget about that um and then finally we've got a setting spray i hope i haven't missed anything out or anything vital out um and this is the collection primed and ready makeup fixing spray so it looks like this it's just a plain kind of pl black packaging bottle this is i've repurchased this i think twice so this is my third bottle and i absolutely love this for giving I don't know that kind of like blended finish when i've done my makeup you can see the powders you can see the powder i put on the highlighter the bronzer the blusher it all mattes it's all powdery but as soon as you spray a little bit of this on your face it just blends everything in and make it look not like powder but make it look like it's your skin i know it's obvious you've got makeup on i'm not saying that it looks like you don't have makeup on or it looks like it's your skin it just looks more like your skin than powder less cakey and i don't know if this makes your makeup last long or last throughout the whole day but it certainly and i can guarantee certainly makes my makeup look so much better instantly and if i don't use this i look in the mirror and i'm like i don't like my makeup today and i'm like haven't used my setting spray so i go and use this and i'm like yes i'm here and this one's perfect for my skin because it's matte so it, it doesn't make your skin look matte but it doesn't make it look glowy so when i've got oily skin i don't want to look shimmery i want to just look like my makeup's kind of set in place and just flawless not shimmery and this one does not make it look shimmery so that's good so that is every single 2018 favorite product we got through that we managed to and it, this video is not excessively long like most people's 2018 favorites videos which are like half an hour long because they just list every product they've got so yeah sorry i just had to have some tea um so yeah i'm gonna have my lunch very soon so i do need to crack on and i've got a resolutions video to film my 2019 new year's resolutions 
very very interesting um but anyway i hope you enjoyed this video this year i'm going to be posting a lot more makeup videos on my channel a lot more kind of testing videos that sort of thing um you know more kind of makeup reviews or makeup specific videos so you know if you don't like those just you can just unsubscribe if you want but you know it's other videos too so give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it remember to subscribe for some more videos on this channel and i will see you in my next video Goodbye.